Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another trailhead walkthrough and we're going to be setting up our Lightning Web Component developer tools within Salesforce. This is kind of a beginner path for uh, learning development on trailhead. So let's go ahead and get started. And these, this walkthrough is going to be a little bit more chill than the other ones have been. Um, one of the first things you want to do or going to want to do is install the CLI for your different operating system. I'm on Mac OS. So what I did was I clicked link and then once this downloads, you'll open it up and you'll download that for your system, which I've already done. So now that it's done, you're gonna open up your, it's terminal for Mac but for others, it's command. But we're going to open it up and then we're going to hit enter. Or copy and paste this plugin. Make sure that it looks something like this. It does want to be more than 45 here, but it looks like we're 47, so we're doing good. All right, the next thing you're going to want to install is your Visual Studio Code, which is a similar thing. You click on the link provided in Trailhead and you download it. I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to open this up. Awesome. So once you're in Visual Studio Code, you're going to want to look for extensions. So and it might look like this, it might look like this. Um, and then you're going to want to search for Lightning web components should be one of these ones looks just like this and you're going to install and then after that is installed you can hit command shift p or control shift p and type in fsfdx and you'll be able to see your initial list of options we're not going to do any of those right now because it doesn't show uh, one thing that you can do is install the extension extension pack um, that'll enable you to do Apex and Visual Force as well as Lightning Web Components. All right, so next thing we're going to want to do is activate our developer hub. Now you do have to go into the setup for this. So let's go ahead and go to setup. From the quick find, you're going to want to go to Dev Hub. And enable that. All right, now that that's enabled, we can go ahead and verify our step. All right, thank you for joining me for part one of set up your Lightning Web Component Developer Tools. That's a mouthful. Um, be sure to like and subscribe and check out my channel for other videos like this, as well as suggest down in the comments below what things you think I can do better or what other videos you would like to see. All right, thank you.